Do you have a weeping edema and a crusty legs? Does it smell, stinks, has odor? No worries, my friend, I got you covered. I have a recipe here and a step-by-step -step technique to get rid of that. But before we go on, if you have open wounds or ulcers that needs the dressing, this may, may or may not work for you, but you do want to check with your doctor or a nurse before you apply this thing. Do me a favor and take your before pictures before you do and follow this technique that I'm going to share with you today. And after you have done this for about three or four times, I want you to take your after pictures and please share them in the comment below. I want to know how much does this really help you. If you don't know me, I am Deepi Patel. I'm a physical therapist, also a certified lymph edema therapist and a smart functional fitness in the online world. So in order to clean the skin, this is what I want you to do. Get a utility bucket, fill it up with the warm water, which I have it here. And you need a little shampoo. You need a one cup of apple cider vinegar and one cup of Epsom salt. So go ahead and pour those in. And a little bit of shampoo. That's it. Here, because I have enough uh, area to sit in my uh, bathtub, you can sit on a shower bench or uh, a little stool if you have, and then just put your feet in there and make sure you mix up with your feet the uh, the solution what we created here, and you're gonna sit here for 15 minutes, okay? And just let it soak. You can shower here or you can do this in the living room or where you can watch TV or something if you have a nice towels or something padded up. So go ahead and do this for 15 minutes and I'll see you back. 15 minutes is up. So what I want you to do here is make sure you have a nice and secure and cross your foot over. Take a washcloth. I'm going to wet the washcloth and you want to wash between your toes as best as you can and that's where the fungus grows also wash under the heel behind the heel and any areas any dry scabs you have just give a good rub on both the sides and just rinse it dry and just come out of it once you have a uh, rinse it give a nice dry make sure you dry between your toes if you have too much fungus growing, use a rubbing alcohol with the Q-tips and clean between the toes, around the toenails, and that will help to kill the fungus for good. And then once you have done this, I only recommend two lotions, the Cetaphil and the Eucerin. Give a good rub and put your compression stockings on and you're good to go. Please check out the descriptions below where I have shared several links of the important videos and along with some handouts and some resources that can help you as well. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for following me and listening to these videos.